calls are up, but the number of police officers is down. It's a national staffing crisis for law enforcement. There's no question about it. Dallas police are answering more calls than ever before, but Chief Eddie Garcia says they need at least 600 patrol officers to be at full staff. We all have to do something different. Every police chief in this country has to think differently um, as we as we struggle, um, as we all struggle uh, with our staffing issues. Like most police departments, DPD is struggling to recruit and retain officers. Sheldon Smith is the head of the National Black Police Officers Association in Dallas. Right now, our officers are very tired. They're going from call to call. Uh, they're having to go to more violent calls. When they get to those calls, they have to deal with people who don't like them. A national survey released by the Police Executive Research Forum shows that from 2020 to 2021, there was a 45 percent increase in officer retirements nationwide. Let's be frank and say that, you know, in the last few years, the national narrative has not been positive. Honorable men and women have not felt supported. They felt vilified. Currently, 27 percent of the Dallas police force is eligible for retirement, so the city is working on retaining them. They're offering officers with 28 years or more experience an extra $40,000 to stay another two years. Violent crime in the city of Dallas is not new. It's happened before. The veteran officers can lead those younger officers and how do we defense this? What do we do? At one point in the early 2000s, Dallas had close to 3,800 officers on the force. Now it's dropped to below 3,200. Dallas police hope to get back to those staffing levels. Otherwise, Garcia and Smith say it will be more challenging to keep the crime rate down without more officers. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.